guys welcome back to my channel this is Toya from the classy sassy life um a couple of days ago I did a live video on Instagram where I just did a little um plan with me using my half sheets and I pulled out this sticker book this is the tiny sticker book and it has been deconstructed into a DIY flip up sticker book so I'm going to show you really quick what it looks like so as you can see I have stickers at the top and at the bottom and I just created this myself I love the way it turned out guys and a few of you wanted to see a um, DIY of how I created this so if you're interested in doing your own DIY flip up sticker book keep on watching so you're going to need a cutter or some scissors sticker books of your choice some Elmer's crafting glue some adhesive a hot glue gun heavy books and some binder clips okay so I am grabbing the two sticker books that I am going to be deconstructing and that is both the Friday and so what you see me doing here is putting them into an order that I like as you can see I am um, placing them up against each other and like holding it as if I was flipping it over to make sure that it looks good together and then I'm deciding what stickers to pair with each other so what I mean by that is um, you're gonna put a sheet of stickers on the front and the back they're gonna be glued together and I'm gonna show you that in slow motion in a moment so what you see me doing right now is is I'm gluing down my first set and I am making sure that the um, hole is alternating so I have a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom so the um, sheet of stickers that is facing you the hole should be at the top and the sheet of stickers that is um, that you're putting the glue on the hole should be at the bottom if that's um, clear but I'm going to show you in more detail in just a moment our sticker books come with 20 sheets but you can only use 19 because you cannot have a back on the very last sheet because that sheet is going to be hot to a dashboard and I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well so that you can click it into uh, so that you can place it into a sticker book using the baby ring. So just pick a sticker sheet that does not have I put those two together and as you can see there is a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom so I put glue on one side of one sticker sheet and then I lay the one on top so as you can see there's a hole at the top and the hole for the sticker book that's behind it is on the bottom it's underneath my hand there so I kind of messed up a little bit when I glued it down you want it to be as even as you can possibly make it and please be careful about readjusting and that's all you have to do make sure you have a hole at the top for the sticker book on the front and a hole at the bottom for the sticker book on for the sticker sheet on the back So if you're if you can see those holes there guys you see that you can't see through them that's because the other one is um, upside down on the back so the hole is at the bottom so when you flip it up you can it's right side up I hope that I'm explaining that properly so I'm gonna show you one more time here I'm applying glue to um, one side and as you can see you cannot see the hole there because it's at the bottom and the hole is at the top for the sheet that I'm laying on top of that one. That is just the key to creating these flip up sticker books. So make sure that you have your hole facing the bottom and a hole facing the to um, adhere the stickers together so here is where your binder clips come into effect and your 
um, Elmer's Crafting Glue, guys. So I picked up this Elmer's Crafting Glue in the um, in Walmart in the section where the paintbrushes and the acrylic paint was located. Grab some binder clips from my teacher stash and any type of clips will work as long as they can hold um, your stack together. Make sure that it is very even at the top and on the sides. You want them all to be lined up perfectly. You don't want that little pucker there. So as you can see, I am just readjusting so there is no um, pucker. And it takes a minute to get it together. Um, so I'm just going to continue to um, work on adjusting and lining everything up. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other sticker book and this time I just used um, the back of one of the sticker book covers to um, help line it up. And then I had a sheet that was kind of hanging over and I wanted to be as even as possible so I did cut a little bit off but it didn't cut a sticker so it's okay. Now I'm going to add in, add on those binder clips to hold it into place. So now that I have everything even, I am going to take the um, glue and I am going to apply it to the top part. Now is white you can't really see it and it dries clear which is perfect and it's a very flexible glue once it dries which is why I chose it for um, this project but you want to make sure that you put a nice coat on top guys and it's okay if it's a little um, loopy because we're going to clean that up in just a second so I'm just taking um, a piece of the cardboard from our sticker book and I am using it to spread the glue across um, the pages. You want to make sure that each part of your um, flip up sticker book, each piece of uh, sticker paper actually has a little bit of glue on top because that's what's going to hold it together. And so then I am putting um, that sticker book in between two very heavy old um, books that we had here at home. Um, and you can use whatever you want to use to compress them, but the goal is to just put them together. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now once you've let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, you want to put on a second coat. That's right, you want to do a second coat just to make sure that um, they don't start to come apart. And then if your sticker book does start to come apart, you can just add on another layer of glue if you need to. But they shouldn't come apart, guys, once you put this on. I would not suggest using hot glue in the place of this um, crafting glue. I've tried it with hot glue, guys, and it does not work let me repeat it does not work okay so I put that there but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to uh, use those um, dividers those are some old dividers from a planner that I have and so you just want to cut off the side that says notes and that has the divider on it um, so as you can see you just you're leaving in the monthly but you're getting rid of the notes and then I am going to take some hot glue and I'm going to place 
hot glue all the way around and I'm going to put that sticker book on top and then weigh it down with the book. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other sticker book. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the DIY flip up sticker book tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer any questions. I will be binding all of these together using um, some Happy Planner rings and some covers when I purchase an extra set of covers. So I will let you guys know when I do that and I'll just post it on um, Instagram. But I absolutely love the way they turned out. Everything worked out really, really well. Um, one little thing that I want to remind you guys, make sure that you um, put glue in the corners when you are gluing your paper, your stickers, sheets together. And also make sure that you're put, putting alternate um, punches. So I have a hole here at the top and then there's a hole at the bottom on this one. So when I flip it up, it looks the same, okay? So it should be, one should have um, the punch at the top and then when you flip it over, the punch should be at the bottom. So like this, there's the hole for this one and there's the hole for that one. Um, and also um, make sure that you kind of place it in the order that you want it to go where the flow is best for you. Um, this is a DIY sticker book, so where I have my um, checklist together, you may not want them together. Where I have my clear um, assignments and homework along with my circle assignments and homework and tests, you may not want it that way. So, you know, place it in whatever order you want to. That's why it's called do it yourself. So once again, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. If you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not following me, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. So as always, guys, keep God first in everything you do and plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.